so welcome back friends and uh, welcome to my channel makdi and today i am going to make a rather important tutorial and this tutorial will be about making a complete new modern kind of a layout and the special thing about this uh, design would be that we are not going to use media queries it this site will be responsive now this is something which uh, you won't find anywhere on youtube uh, there is uh, no such video i have searched a lot on youtube and if you find uh, a video which is posted earlier to this date do let me know i would like to check that out uh, but i just wanted to inform you that this is a very uh, unique kind of a tutorial and i will show you the template which i am going to design uh, this is a special kind of a template because uh, it's modern it uses flex uh, as well as it doesn't use media query still it's a responsive design so hope you will uh, like this video uh, do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned hello friends uh, welcome to makdi and this is the uh, template we have uh, which we are going to start designing today because this will be uh, several uh, in uh, divided into several uh, videos so you will get this complete series in a playlist uh, for the time being we are going to start this design and i will just show you the overall uh, uh, template which we are going to make in this tutorial you will notice that this design is responsive for example i will just reduce the window size and this is the first page uh, of this uh, template this is the second page the about us and i will uh, slowly scroll up and this is the our teams page and you can see the nice hover effect for mobile devices this will be on touch and when i scroll uh, down we will move to the services section you will notice several blocks here defining the services and the last will be the contact us section here you can of course uh, add the address and other details as required now uh, you can notice uh, notice easily that this is a responsive kind of a website uh, uh, so it gets adjusted to the device for example here you can see that the uh, top uh, two rows have three uh, photos here whereas the last uh, row has uh, two photos now if i adjust the view size or the device uh, screen size uh, it will automatically get adjusted now it's easier to do this uh, using media queries uh, or any kind of uh, css framework like bootstrap which already uses media queries but uh, in this example uh, i am going to show you how to do this without using a media query because this uh, page doesn't use any media query uh, apart from this uh, this also focuses on some jquery uh, magic for example here you can see that uh, the text appears from nowhere uh, and this is something which is already uh, there in some tutorials but i haven't seen any tutorial which focuses on uh, creating responsive websites without using media queries so this will be a rather unique kind of a tutorial so stay, stay tuned and watch this video as well as my future videos in this series so let's get started so first of all as always we will create a project folder here uh, let's name it uh, something called modern makdi template or design so now let's open this folder and save a new folder for javascript files i will name it js and one for css now let's move ahead and create our file main file so before that i will just uh, search for some uh, font or some fonts these are icons if you uh, don't know about font awesome uh, you may just go to fontawesome.com and uh, go to how to use and check out their uh, documentation uh, it's basically is a site which allows you to um, use their icons free of cost they also have a pro version but for the purpose of this tutorial we will be using the free ones the solid and the brands so for this uh, tutorial we will be using only the solid kind of icons which are these 
and there are other um uh, things we can which you can do and learn about font or some uh, it's uh, it will be covered in a different tutorial for the time being let's go to this page and download a uh, font or some so here the downloading has already started and let's wait for a moment so once it's uh, downloaded you just need to unzip the file and uh, go to a folder which is named as uh, here you can just go to a folder uh, which is named as web fonts with uh, CSS or you can also go to SVG with JS uh, if you need the JS files so here we need to copy two CSS files one is uh, the FA solid one which because we are going to use the free one uh, I had already shown you uh, on this page that the solid and the brands are free and the regular and light ones are pro uh, this is the status uh, currently on the website uh, but this might change in future so go to the CSS folder and copy these two files one is the solid dot min dot CSS and other is uh, you don't need this brands one so you can just copy the solid dot min dot CSS and font awesome dot min dot css the last one so just copy these two files uh, to your css uh, uh, folder in your project folder so let me just copy these files and let's uh, paste it uh, in our css folder so uh, this is step one uh, step two you also need to copy the js file so uh, let's go to the uh, js folder uh, inside this uh, font awesome uh, package which we have downloaded so go to svg with js and go to js and uh, just copy the font awesome uh, dot min dot js file so you just need to right click copy and paste it in the folder uh, which we have created for the javascript files so once this is done you need to uh, include uh, both these uh, files into the html file uh, so i will show you these steps all one by one uh, before that you just go to jquery and download the jquery file uh, here you can just download the compressed production jquery uh, the first link on this page so once it's downloaded you can just uh, uh, copy the file and place it in the projects uh, project folder js so here you just need to paste the file i think uh, we missed one of the files for uh, font awesome because it should be two files in css as well as js so let's uh, go back to the font awesome folder and here in svg with js you will find one more fa solid dot uh, min dot js so we'll just copy it and paste it in the js folder so for font awesome just remember that you just need to copy two js files and two css files um, that will uh, make it work fine so let's go just cross check that you have the uh, correct files So let me close uh, these windows and let's start to code. So as always, uh, we will save a blank HTML file in our folder. So just go to uh, file save and save the file as index.html and type HTML colon file to bring the structure. I am using Emmet so uh, just type in the title and save a, a f another file for css i will name it style.css so now let's go back to the index folder and link our style sheet
so we need to link the font awesome style sheets as well so always remember that your own style sheet that is style.css should be linked at the last or at the bottom of uh, all the other uh, CSS files which we are going to link so here we have two files which we are going to link for font awesome I will just paste it here so now remember the sequence here because I am linking font awesome dot min dot CSS first and then fa solid uh, min dot CSS and then the style dot CSS so uh, you should remember that uh, this is the correct way uh, or the correct sequence to follow likewise for uh, JS linking JS files always remember that you include the jQuery file in the beginning so here I am just including the J JS for jQuery and then uh, I will include the font of some uh, two files so uh, we have linked all the files required for this template for the time being uh, there we will be including some more uh, JS and CSS files but uh, that we will do in our uh, later sections uh, of the uh, series uh, it will not be required for this video so here you can see that uh, we didn't uh, uh, cook, uh, display anything in the body uh, right now so we are just uh, beginning to uh, add some content here so this is the design which we are going to make uh, this is a jpeg file uh, i have just saved it uh, for reference so we have uh, five sections in all uh, including the home section and we have the left menu there and the about us section is divided into two sections one is the text and on the right side we have a progress circle uh, then we have our team with photos and the services section is divided into six uh, blocks and uh, lastly we have the contact us uh, with the map google map embedded uh, css uh, style.css and uh, instead of resetting margin and padding which we were doing in our previous tutorials uh, I would uh, recommend you to uh, go to Mayor Web, uh, which is one of the finest uh, uh, reset codes available on the internet so just search for Mayor Web CSS reset and you will find this uh, website here so you just need to copy this reset code it's totally free to use you can see uh, it's mentioned on the top that the license is none so you just you can just copy this CSS code and paste it at the top of the CSS section so this uh, should be done for all the uh, templates which we uh, you are planning to make or uh, all the websites because this is a good practice and a good uh, reset uh, CSS code so I will just uh, mention the end of the uh, reset code here it's always good to keep commenting because uh, that will be a good reference for you in future so uh, uh, let's uh, make some space here so that we can start coding so let's um, define some cool uh, web colors or web2 uh, flat ui colors if you don't know about uh, flat ui colors you can just search in google and you will find some bright kind of colors which are popular here i have saved already saved some uh, four to five colors uh, which is required for this uh, template so i will be just uh, defining these classes uh, so for the first one I have named clay uh, for the second one I will just name uh, red pink for the second section I will just copy the code here and likewise for the team section I will just name it uh, TAL teal and give a background color
it's always a uh, good practice to uh, define uh, this in CSS instead of uh, directly using it in your HTML uh, because your HTML code will look uh, neat and clean also you can use um, uh, multiple classes uh, while um, using HTML so uh, I will just uh, show you that uh, in this video also I have done a tutorial regarding this um, in the past so uh, this is the template in Photoshop you can also copy the color code from here if you wish but uh, I have taken some colors from the net which matches this template so once you have defined the colors let's move ahead and code some HTML So here you see that we have five sections in all. So let's go ahead and create these sections. Uh, we will give a class name of snap. So instead of doing a, a one by one, uh, we will just use emmet to speed code this. You just need to uh, name the class into five times and this will create five divisions at once. So these are the five uh, sections which are we, we have created. Now let's uh, add one more class to uh, them so that we can um, give different background colors for all these sections. So this is how you can apply multiple classes to an element. We haven't styled the snap uh, class yet so if we check in the browser we won't see anything because we didn't give any height or width to the uh, uh, division uh, or the class uh, snap. So for snap we will use a height of uh, 100 VH that is uh, the viewport uh, size that is the size of the screen. So now uh, you can see that the height of the each section is equivalent to the height of the window uh, you are viewing. So uh, it um, automatically gets adjusted to uh, different device uh, screens. So this is how we can define height in CSS. So uh, suppose I reduce the window size, it will automatically get reduced to the window size. So uh, we are yet to apply some uh, good scrolling effect for this. So you can see that it's stopping at the middle of these sections. Uh, that uh, I will show you later how to uh, fix that. For the time being I will create another folder named uh, IMG for images and copy the logo image here. This is the logo I have. You can use whatever logo you have at your hand. And so inside the home section that is the clay color we will be dividing this into two parts one for the menu and one for the right side logo plus the tagline and the name for that I will use a class name called home content. So here you can see that I have divided it into two divisions. So for the menu we will use uh, four blocks. So I will just use a class name of blocks inside these we will be placing all the four icons on the left so you can uh, uh, see that it's not displaying anything because we haven't placed anything so for this we will be using font or awesome which we have downloaded in the beginning of this video so i will just search for some of the icons here you can just uh, follow what i am searching so you just need to go to the page and copy the HTML which is given here. It uses the I tag. So you just need to copy this and place it wherever you need the logo to appear. So this is the process. I will, uh, I will repeat the process for all the icons. I will speed this up so that it doesn't take uh, much of your time.
and for the last contact us section i will use this uh, phone logo so we have placed all the four logos and you can see that it's uh, on the top left corner it's not aligned properly because we didn't uh, define anything for the uh, menu uh, class not the blocks uh, which we have defined here inside the menu section so uh, we will also define another class for the icons uh, so i will name it our fa that is our font awesome and now let's uh, style uh, these menus and the blocks first let's style our uh, font awesome I will give a minimum width of 80 pixels and a font size of 40 pixels. Remember, this is uh, I'm giving the font size because uh, this is actually a uh, font, not an image. That's why it's called font awesome. And we can uh, de define whatever color we need uh, here. So it will automatically reflect on the icon. So now let's uh, check in the browser and it will turn uh, to red and the size of the icons have, have been increased. Now the only part which is remaining is to align it properly on the left and also um, uh, give some background color to the uh, menu uh, class. So let's style uh, these blocks and the menu. Here I will define one more class for the home because we need to identify the home section. Uh, you can uh, do it in, another, in any other way if you uh, want to but here I am just defining one more class and making it uh, uh, display flex. That's because I want to use uh, the advantages of flex when it comes to uh, aligning inside child elements so now we have the child elements as menu and home content uh, so we will first style the menu section i will give a background color here i will be using the transparency um, element which is uh, possible uh, while giving background color so i will be using rgba uh, RGB color codes are available in Photoshop you can check that this is the color code for black and I am using opacity of um, 0 here that's the last uh, one in this 4 uh, row I am giving a minimum width of 100 pixels now if you check it will be um, uh, it doesn't show anything because we have used the opacity of 0 in the end if we turn that it to 1 uh, it will become completely black but we don't need it black we need uh, a kind of something in the middle so let's try 0 0.5 now we are uh, giving a color of black and um, making it uh, opaque uh, sorry not opaque but transparent and here I am giving a value of 0 0.3 and it uh, matches with our design so that's perfect now the only thing which has remained is to align the icons properly. Uh, before that let's uh, style our home content se uh, section on the right. Here you can see that the left portion that is the menu, uh, uh, menu uh, section on the left is static in nature that's uh, it doesn't uh, change according to the width of the window so for, to make it uh, uh, reflect that change we will be displaying a flex value of one here it's actually flex grow one and here for the home content it will be flex eight so what will happen is when i reduce the size you can see that the menu portion is resizing automatically to fit the it's uh, it's something like one is to eight so now let's uh, uh, arrange these icons in the center horizontally as well as vertically. 
and to do that we will uh, it's very easy i have mentioned this several times in my past tutorials just convert this uh, into display flex uh, for the menu class and inside the child class uh, now you can see that as soon as i uh, made it display flex it has a uh, flex direction of row by default so i will change the flex direction to column first and now uh, it will show in a column format and now it has lined up one above the other now we just need to uh, give proper spacing or in short we can just center it vertically and horizontally and for that we will use the blocks which is the child element of the menu class so we have already defined display flex for the parent class that's menu so for the child class that is blocks we will just use margin auto and now check in the browser it has aligned all well uh, properly that's uh, it's centered horizontally as well as vertically now if i remove just margin auto see what happens it uh, just uh, goes to the left section so that's the magic of margin auto which is very useful while uh, designing any layout using display flex so now let's uh, complete this section that is on the right side we will just use the image we have uh, pasted in the image uh, folder that is abstract.png i will give its width and height dimensions uh, if I remember correctly, it's 200 width and the height is 170. Uh, if you want to check the width and height of the uh, logo you are using, you can just uh, check it out in the info section or you can just open the image in Photoshop and go to image size and check it. For example, here I will just uh, show you that the sizes are 200 into 170 pixels. Now it's a good practice to define the width and height because that will help the browser render it correctly in all kinds of browsers. And here I will define the title in h2 tag. And for the tagline I will use the paragraph tag with a class of uh, content home. I will just type in what we have uh, defined it in the design so now we didn't style it we have just included this so let's check it out in the browser you can see that the logo is fine but the text we need to style it so for styling the text actually we I had used um, google fonts so if you don't know about google fonts just uh, search in google and you will find uh, it at fonts.google.com you can search for any uh, kind of google font here uh, for the purpose of this tutorial i will be using this, uh, th these three fonts uh, you can just pause the video and uh, copy it out if you want to use the same font this open sans uh, font is quite popular uh, so to include this you have to copy this import url in the css section at the top so i will just paste it here at the top and uh, you can include the font family property wherever you need to use it so in this case uh, i will define a class for the h2 tag I will name it title home so let's uh, move to title home and I will create one more class uh, that is content home I have pasted the style here so let's uh, define a size and color for this i will give something uh, which is close to white now let's check it in the browser 
and it's perfect so we are at to uh, center it in the in this uh, right section that we will do in the end for the time being we will just style the uh, tagline which is below the title for this we will be using this cursive font so i have used the google font name damian i don't know how it's pronounced but uh, i will just reduce uh, i have reduced the font size for this so now let's check it in the browser you can see that it's uh, quite thick uh, the uh, font some of the fonts are uh, there uh, like this only you can just check whether you can fix it with the uh, font weight of 100 if it doesn't get fixed there is another option uh, which very few people know about uh, you can use uh, this uh, property in CSS that is font smoothing and use a value of anti-aliased as well as uh, you can also for uh, Mozilla Firefox or uh, Opera you can use uh, uh, the value of gray scale so uh, this is the option which is available now you can see how this um, uh, thickness changes to uh, something which is clearer uh, and lighter uh, thinner you can say it as thinner but overall it looks good now if you remember uh, we have already converted the home class into a display flex so here home content is already a child element so we will first define uh, text align as center that is that will center this horizontally and to center it vertically what we need to do is just use margin auto and it will automatically center it uh, in the uh, section uh, uh, vertically as well as horizontally so uh, that's how we uh, fix things in uh, html and css and we have completed the home section now we will be doing um, rest of the sections uh, likewise but before that uh, for the menu on the left uh, we need to place some text below the icons so we will be uh, next doing that so for these we will uh, have to add some text in the html so within the uh, block section here i will use a class of text and define the name for that icon and likewise i will paste it uh, in all the rest of the blocks and change the name to the respective uh, uh, section name for example for uh, the second I will use team services and for the last one contact now if you check in the browser you will see it uh, placed just placed below the icons on the left I will just show you in the browser here you can see that it's placed just below the icons we haven't styled it yet so let's go ahead and style it we have used a class of text so i will just define the font family uh, i will give a normal font arial and use a font weight of 200 and a font size of maybe 15 pixels and let's use a line height of 24 pixels so that it uh, gives some padding on the top and the bottom and I will use a, a, a white uh, color something which is closer to white that is F7, F7, F7 and uh, give a text transform of uppercase so that the uh, text changes to an uppercase so now if you check in the browser you will see that it's all aligned properly I had also used the text align center feature to center this uh, horizontally so that's why it's coming all fine now if you look at the overall design which I showed you in the beginning uh, the text only appears when we hover uh, on it so we'll have to hide it uh, by default so uh, we will have to define an ID 
so for that i will define an id of what uh, this section is about so i will give a id name of about id is required because we need to manipulate this uh, later on um, using jquery that will be covered in our next tutorial so i will just name the ids for all these four menu uh, text and let's um, hide all these four menu text items we just need to use display none you can just copy and paste or use comma separated values for these ids to hide this so i will just change the names so now if you check in the browser uh, it will be hidden by default now on hover uh, we need to display this but that will be covered in our next video uh, in this series itself so now let's move ahead and uh, define the title of various sections so for example here on the left if you can see uh, the design uh, each of these sections have a title called about our team etc so we will just uh, place this title in this video itself and continue with the rest of the part in our next video so uh, for this you just need to use a class name and um, place the text in between i will just use a class name of title section so that we can uh, style all these four text simultaneously so i will just paste this and change the text here on the right so i will just change the values here for the text i will just change it to team services and contact Now let's go ahead and style it. So let's style a team section. And I will just copy the font here which we have used uh, I will just paste it here and change the uh, we will use the same uh, font size because it looks perfect I will use a padding of 30 pixels so that it gives some space on the top as well as bottom and I will text align it to the center so now let's check it out and it's perfect and for this section uh, the services section actually uh, the text is uh, showing as white whereas in the design it's uh, some different color so it's a dark color of course uh, so we will have to change this for only the services section now to select this particular section in CSS what you can do is you can define it by its parent class uh, which is also called as a deep selector so here its uh, title section is within the blue class so i will just use dot blue give a space and then use title section so this will apply only to the blue section inside uh, title section inside the blue uh, section so here when i defined color as dark uh, darkish gray uh, here you can see that it's applied to the services section so we will be continuing this uh, series in our next video uh, so stay tuned and i will just show you the template we are going to the final template we are going to design this is the final template and you can see the about us section the our team section which has a cool hover effect and the services section as well as the contact uh, section which has a google map embedded and plus uh, it's a responsive design and on the left side on the top the menu is a, a, a attractive one uh, the important thing about this uh, uh, template is that it's responsive and it doesn't use any media query hope you like this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet 
please click the subscribe button and also uh, click the bell icon so that you can get all the updates uh, i am sure you will be following my next uh, uh, video in this series uh, so see you soon thanks a lot